long time ago, I used to work at a store in Quincy. And at that time, if you had asked me about my spiritual life, about my Christianity, I would have told you I was fine. Everything's good. I go to church every Sunday, at least if I wasn't busy or I felt like it. Uh, I was a nice guy, at least I thought I was. Or uh, I, even, I even prayed if, you know, if I needed something. I was, I was on the right path. And then later on, this couple comes in to the store I was working at. We got to be friends. We started to do things together. We, we went out, ate, we stayed at their house. We did all kinds of things together. Uh, Butch and I had go, done a lot of guy stuff together. You know, we'd go where guys go, where guys do. We did all this. And then later on, Butch and Nita had a little girl. And her name was Veronica. We called her Ronnie. A couple of years go by and Ronnie got sick. She got real, real sick. In fact, she got so sick that Butch and Nita had to go move back to Kentucky so they could be with their family. Well, then a little later on, as time goes by, I got married. They had another, another baby, his name is Kenny. And we still kept in touch and we, kept, we stayed as friends, visit them every now and then. And then Patty started getting sick. And then eventually, when Patty started getting sick, we had to look for another place because the cold New England weathers were, were, were hard on her. And so we moved, we figured, well, let's move to Kentucky. And they took us in like, like we were family, and we were family. Eventually later, things started happening, and Ronnie got sicker and sicker. And then by the time Ronnie reached nine years old, Ronnie died. And at Ronnie's funeral, it was actually one of the happiest days of my life, if you could believe that. At a nine-year-old girl's funeral, you would think. The outside world is looking outside saying, hey, a nine-year-old girl, where is God now? Well, I guess that prayer didn't work. The preacher, Jim, who was talking about Ronnie, how because Ronnie had suffered quite a bit and, and, she, and struggled for a long time, and Ronnie was now no longer struggling. She was no longer suffering. She was in the garden. He described the garden. It was like I, I can almost picture it. And he described her walking hand in hand with Jesus. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm in my head. I'm like, it seems like everything else was, nothing else was there. It felt like everything was coming to, the message was coming to me. And then he said five words that changed my life. Don't you just envy her? And I smiled and I said, yeah, I, I do. Well, now I'm all full of joy and happiness. And what I, you know, I'm out of there and I'm, you know, people are crying, and I'm smiling. So we, we move we move on, and I'm telling my, I'm telling Patty, Patty, you got you can't believe this. But she didn't want to hear it. She, I'm like I'm stunned, but she didn't want to hear it. Well, eventually, time goes on, and Patty eventually understood, not by me, or maybe used by me, but Patty understood. Patty come to know Christ, and that was great news. Then later on. Patty got sicker and sicker, really sick. And she was confined to a wheelchair. And eventually Patty died. I didn't even realize how much God used her, like God used Ronnie. Patty would send out cards and mail them out to everybody. Ask them, hey, miss you at church. Hope to see you soon. How you doing if somebody was sick? All those messages, that's what she did. She did that from home because she couldn't make it to church a lot. And on, on Patty's funeral, when well, she called it a celebration, I had people come up to me and say, I got a card from Patty. For days afterwards, people would say, I got a card from Patty. And they were touched by it. And to this day, people are touched and they still talk about what things that Patty had done. Or we talk about Ronnie, the things Ronnie had done. Now I realize how much God has done for me, that his plan was in work the entire time. All the time I was in doubt, he never was. He loved me the whole time. So now I know I truly am on the right road. I truly do worship him. I truly do love him. And all because he loved me first. I, I, I learn more about him as much as I can. I read his word. I get to know other believers. And I, every day is a new adventure. And it's all because of what he's done for me and what he used in my life, in Patty's life, and in Ronnie's life, and Butch and Ania's life. <laughs>